Before aligning your antenna to the correct satellite using the EyeSight application, it is important to note that you must always power down the satellite router when connecting and or disconnecting the coaxial cables. You must also disable any firewall application as this will interfere with the procedure. To find SkyVision's downlink carrier using EyeSight, please follow these instructions. Open EyeSight and right-click the TDMA Remote submenu. Select Align Antenna. Select Antenna Pointing and then select the Antenna Pointing tab. Select Start to initiate the process. Now remove the TX cable from the BOC, then press OK. Monitor the current signal strength values, the graph and the audio cues for reference during the next two steps. Adjust the elevation to the correct value according to the site location and antenna offset. Sweep the sky in the expected azimuth area until you acquire the satellite signal. If the signal is not acquired, decrease or increase the elevation angle by slightly adjusting the strut and repeat the azimuth sweep until the signal is acquired. Rotate the feed component until you achieve the correct polarity confirmed by optimal signal representation. As you adjust the axis to the appropriate coordinates, the signal in the graph will progress from red, no signal detected, to green, signals detected. You can also hear this progression audibly in broken sound bites that increase in pitch and volume as your alignment becomes more accurate. The signal represented in green on the graph has the highest audio pitch. A current signal strength value of 14 or more volts of direct current will confirm that SkyVision's downlink carrier has been detected. Next, adjust the feed horn slightly and monitor the current signal strength to complete the maximization of the gain. To determine the best polarization setting, rotate the feed element until you acquire the strongest signal level which will have the least amount of interference from the opposing polarization. For more information on polarization, consult a satellite reference document. Once the antenna is aligned correctly and the satellite signal gain is maximized, open a Telnet session and type the following commands to complete an information check. Version. This determines if the version of the satellite router is correct. The code version should be as described by the option file in order to be able to work with the SkyVision service. RLOC. This command is for the Infinity model. Type RMT lock status for the X3 evolution. This command determines if the satellite router is locked on a previous provider. If the satellite router was previously used with another provider, it might have been locked, in which case the word locked will be displayed. If your satellite router is locked, you will need to unlock it. To do this, you must contact the previous provider and request that they unlock it. After receiving confirmation that your satellite router has been unlocked, proceed to the next step. RxSNR. This determines the signal to noise ratio. You will need to achieve a value of higher than 9 dB by readjusting the alignment of your antenna. In capital letters, DID. This displays the identification parameters of the satellite router, regardless of the option file. Make sure that the satellite router's model and serial number match the ones displayed in the option file. RMT stat. This displays the RX parameters after getting a lock. During the activation process, when you receive your lineup schedule, you might be asked to type this command in order to check if there are SCPC errors and TDM loss. Once all the approvals for the new link are received, the SkyVision Installation Department will send the first suggested time slot for the activation of the SkyVision service. When activation has been completed in the suggested time slot, please send confirmation of the schedule to SkyVision Installation with the name and contact information of the technician. If the activation must be completed at a later or earlier stage than the suggested scheduled time, please contact the SkyVision Installation Department with a convenient time for the activation schedule.
you will receive either a confirmation email or an alternative time slot email from SkyVision. The contact details for the SkyVision installation department are as follows. Telephone 44208-387-1770 or 44208-387-1770. Email installation at sky-vision.net.